What's up, guys? We're going to do an update here on Neo. So let's just do what we call our top-down directional approach. So I like to start with the monthly. We do this on global macro markets. Start from a long-term perspective, looking at different asset classes by country and region, and then moving down um, smaller and smaller into different sectors or individual stocks or um, you know, picking apart different um, asset classes within specious, precious metals and just drilling down, which you can also do that on the, um, on the different time frames. So start with the monthly. Neo has been obviously one of the best stories um, in crypto. So we've been long since it was Ant Shares, and then they did the the name rebranding. Not a lot to go off most of these um, charts because Neo is so new. So there's no monthly cycle. Um, but you can see here that the, this breakout is only about two months old. We were sideways for four months and we took out this 55 area. It's been two months um, on this new uptrend. The weekly, uh, a little bit easier to see breakout. This was all a basing period. Okay. And then we basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is about an eight count. So we like to keep an eye on that 8.6 frequency, like the global business cycles on a 8.6 year frequency. Um, but definitely still bullish. So we're holding the eight here on the weekly and been in a pretty long cycle actually. This, this weekly cycle is starting to, starting to form. But there's really no risk in for a deeper pullback until we break this eight. So that's down around 113 based off the weekly. When you go to the daily, nothing but higher lows. Uh, you can see the breakout right here. <clears throat> this is a real money candle. We went sideways and it's been nothing but higher lows ever since. So been buyers on these pullbacks. You just time it up with the bottom of the cycles. This daily cycle will give you nice three, five, three to five eight bar moves. Cycle turns up. That's that's a great way to time your swing trades. Um, this looks good. I like that we broke out here. Kind of gotten that way from this consolidation pattern that the overall overall market's been in. I mean, you look at Bitcoin, you look at Litecoin. They're still consolidating doing a lot of this, um, but Ethereum and, and NEO have gotten above these pivot highs. And so now we're back into intermediate term bullish. You can see how the eight's starting to turn up. Direction of the eight will always show you the intermediate term trend if you're looking at a daily chart. And we can see that a little bit easier on the four hour. Right, the bands are starting to break back up here. Bands are moving positive. Um, Real quickly, all right. So, here, higher lows. This is showing you the long term uptrend, but the intermediate term was making higher lows like this, and then we broke right here. That actually moved the intermediate term to lower lows, retest of the 200. And then from there, you bounce and you make lower highs relative to here. So this was the intermediate term weakness. Right. And then right here, we actually have what we call phase two. Higher lows. So anytime a market's in a downtrend, the first sign that that trend might be changing is you stop making lower lows. So the fact that we didn't make lower lows here relative to here kind of gives you that first sign that maybe the market's turning. And then what you really want to focus on and tee off on is the lower highs. So this is lower high relative to here, lower highs, lower highs. So after this pivot, market moved from here, here, bounces, moved away from this pivot. 
that creates the new higher highs and we got to, we're starting to see that now so this is a higher high relative to here so now have higher lows and higher highs so we're moving back intermediate term bullish here for neo just just like ethereum so neo and ethereum i see the first two to kind of are leading us back up here Let's see if that can continue um but i like being buyers on dips on neo bought pretty well in a couple of these sell-offs um, we talked about taking profit up here in our room so this next pullback guys i'll be a buyer on neo for sure on the four hour right i'll keep you updated